What is up guys, Brandon here. Welcome back to yet another episode of What The Fake, the YouTube series where I go around the web and try and find the fakest games consoles possible. And in this episode, one that you might not have expected is the fake N-Gage. Now, this is the original N-Gage here, made by Nokia, and it was released in the 2000s for kids and teenagers and adults that wanted a phone that could also play pretty popular games. For example, even Call of Duty was on this thing, and it is definitely, it wasn't revolutionary, but it definitely picked up the handheld, like, community and pushed it towards, you know, like, the Nintendo DS and the Game Boys and stuff, but this was without doubt a great handheld and one I'm pleased that Nokia released because I had one as a kid and so did my friends and this was definitely a, a great handheld to play on. Um, but with a great handheld comes fakes and one that I found on Amazon recently is this one. This is the Kashalda K110 and it is, uh, well, I, you know, I've, I've opened the box and looked at it, and I don't think it's anything special, but this is the packaging you get. And straight up, just, just, just look at it. There is a Battlefield guy coming out of a screen, which happens to be Zelda Breath of the Wild. 100% sure that this isn't going to play Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'm not 100% sure what that sword is there. If anybody know what this sword comes from, hit me up in the comments below. I'd actually quite like to know. So, the Kashauda K110 Game Phone. It has a Save Our Soul panic button. Long press 5 key. Great. Thanks for letting me know that. Definitely going to pick it up now. I needed one of them on my phone. Nothing on the side. A QR code. No idea what that does. If you guys want to scan that, go crazy. Uh, on the back here, you have a 2.8 inch TFT display. A super big torch. Not just a big torch. A super big torch. Oh god, this is going to be shocking. A, a 4028 big speaker. Again, not an ordinary speaker. A big, bloody, massive one. Uh, a large capacity battery. A high pixel camera which I beg to differ, they always say that, and it's, it looks like a bloody potato, and approximately 100 classic mobile games, and that's what I'm interested in there. We get that all the time in fake consoles, saying there's loads of retro games, but are they really retro, and do they work, and does this phone have them? We shall see. And again, you can't really see there, but that is definitely Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, let's jump right in. This is as far as I've got by opening this up, and just look. Here it is. This is the fake N-Gage. And straight up, the Kashada team do not know how to put on a bloody screen protector. Look at that thing. Looks like someone slapped that on with a spoon or something. But let's, uh, let's put that to the side and get into the box here. So we've got a game manual. We've got a adapter here, which is micro USB. And it's branded. That's, that's unique. And some headphones here, which... Oh yeah, they they could slice off a lobe for sure. All right, let's put that to the side. We get our battery here, which looks like it's 2,600 milliamps. And on their site, it says it can play or stand by for 300 hours. And I'm sure it said 400 hours of game time, but that doesn't make sense at all. And that would pretty much be impossible for this little thing. So again, lies, but the packaging, you know, they've done, they've done an alright job. I've seen worse. The manual here, you should probably check that out, actually. Uh, again, Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure they're allowed to do that. But hey, alright, let's jump right in. Let's take a look at this fake Nokia N-Gage ripoff. I'm going to zoom in for y'all. Do it. So here it is. This is what you're looking at. Let's take this off. And... There is a hundred percent fingerprints on this thing. So someone, this pro, I don't even know what Amazon are doing or what the, 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 the people who sell this are doing. All right, now straight off the bat, the buttons, you know, you get some feedback off them for sure. Ergonomically, I'm actually digging it. It's enough length from hand to hand to feel like I've got control and flexibility of my fingers. It looks like we've got a game controller button here. 
Um, and if you look at the Nokia N gauge, it's got it's got some similarities, like the two buttons down here, the five and seven are colored, whereas the five and eight are colored here. But you know, totally different sizes. And this is a very weird screen size here. Um, but this one seems to be, you know, a little bit wider. So on the back here, game phone, yes. Now that is some serious branding going on there. And it looks like that is a little camera up there. Um, okay, that looks like your super big torch. We'll see if that works. Uh, oh, and on the side, your headphone and micro USB for charging. And that looks like it's it. These are not shoulder buttons. These are just lanyard sections, which is a bit disappointing. Um, all right, let's uh, open her up. Is this slide? I heard something snap then. That's never good. I'm guessing I'm going to have to rip this off, aren't I? Okay, so there is a groove here. Oof, that does not sound healthy. Okay, so in the back here, it looks like we've got two SIM sections here. So it is a dual SIM phone and your micro USB, micro USB, sorry, your uh, SD card for you to add internal storage, your speaker and your potato camera. Actually, I, that's a bit harsh. It might be really good. So let's chuck this in and chuck back on the shell. Let's start this thing up. All right, so how do I turn this on? I'm guessing this red button down here, if I hold that. No, oh yeah, there it is. The Kashauda logo on my fingerprint infested uh, screen there. That is, uh, I'm gonna probably give that a clean. That is pretty damn dirty. All right, let's see, all right. So here it is. This is what you are greeted with, a very dull looking screen. I hope this is in focus for you guys. There we go. A very dull looking screen. I don't know if I can turn up that brightness. So let's unlock like that. Uh, and let's take a look in the menu here. So we've got, that is very dull. All right, I don't know if you can slide change the focus here just so you can get a brief look. So we've got contacts, messages, calls, Facebook, multimedia, games. That's the one I'm most interested in to be honest settings, organizer, profiles, services, app zone, and my files. I wanna see if I can put this brightness up, to be honest, display, uh, backlight, no, always on, contrast. Yeah, that's pumped up the brightness a little bit. All right, I'll take that, and, that's as good as we're gonna get, I think. Connections, can this go on Wi-Fi? Network account. Network selection, no, so it looks like a SIM. The only way to actually get that working is by adding a SIM, which is a bit disappointing. All right, let's take a look at games. Wait, what the f Surely there's gotta be more than this. Soko Band, is that the only game on this thing? What the hell is, all right, so this looks pretty easy to be honest, not gonna lie. There you go. Bang, completed it. Oh, I'm good at this. Oh no, I screwed that up. Oh, poop. All right, I'm not really interested in that game to be honest, I wanna come out and uh, let's see what else I can do. Where's that camera? That's what I wanna know. Uh, multimedia camera. All right, let's see if uh, let's see what this camera's got. You know that ain't bad, but that frame rate. Look at that. Uh, that is not the best looking camera. How do I capture? How do I capture? Okay. Oh, yes. Please insert memory card. Can't even save it. Great. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Uh, image viewer video recorder. So it's got video as well. You know, that's definitely not high pixel. That is, if anything, awful pixel. 
uh, my files, no memory card, services, internet, I'm going to have to obviously have a SIM card in there. Facebook, not going to work, is it? But it's kind of nice that they got that. Uh, how do I get out? Where is all of my like stuff? World alarm torch. Let's see if this torch works. Oh, open. Oh, you can see that. Look at that. Bang, bang. Oh, super big torch going on here. Wow. Just, just what you want. And I saw the SOS feature here. If I turn that on. You know, just what you want in a handheld gaming phone. Just in case you're gaming on the go and the helicopters are above you, whack this on, boom. You'll be saved in no time while you level up your character. <laughs> what is this phone, guys? This is hilarious. All right, let's uh, so I'm going to try and find the games. So I couldn't find a way to access the games normally but there is a way of adding in a cheat code into the phone which gives you access to the retro games i know complete madness you can't even get to it in the files and the same with roms i added in an sd card there's no way of playing them but the only way to get access to the games is by doing this star pound five no didn't want that one pound two Five, five, eight, pound. No, that's wrong. Eight, five, five, eight, eight. I have no idea why they haven't just adding in or added in a app, but you have to do that every time you want to access the games. I, I don't know why. Maybe they want to keep it locked away from your friends. But hey. So this is what we've got here, okay? 84 in 1. So straight up, the box is already lying to me when it says... Okay, no, it does say approximately 100. Alright, cheeky. You done me there. So the games it has is Mario 14, Rockman, Turtles 3, Turtle Fire, Adventure Island, Chip Dell... Contra, Super Contra, World Cup, so Ninja Gaiden, and we'll just go down so you can see these. Tetris, Mahjong, everyone loves a bit of Mahjong, Jungle Explorer, Toad in the Hole, you know. Let oh, it's got Aladdin 3, alright, fair play. Alright, let's go up and try Mario. It's hissing at me, which is a bit odd. Mario 14, alright, let's, uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I was going to say that this speaker is disgusting. What? Oh, this speaker is disgusting. Ugh. Oh no. Can you hear that speaker? I'm gonna throw up. Oh no. What the hell did I just play? Shut up. How do I get out? Uh, should we try Contra? Contra surely got to work. Grizor. So, it's got a couple of frame rate drops, but, you know, it's absolutely playable. Oh no, you're going. So to end it, you got to come out and then back in again, which is very annoying. I've had enough. That'll do. 
So there you have it guys, a quick look at the Nokia N-Gage ripoff. You know, it's uh, it's pretty awful, I'm not gonna lie. Like obviously I could have gone over the phone and everything, like if it actually works, but I'm certain it, it will generally work anyway. Uh, that's its main selling point on Amazon, but it does allow you to play uh, up to approximately 100 retro games, and some of them are pretty awful. You get a terrible camera with it, um, but it is nice to see that the, the Nokia N-Gage is being ripped off. I always like that, respect it. Uh, they must see like a market uh, with this product, uh, but not one that I advise picking up for sure. Um, so yeah, you know, it does play retro games not well at all. The best bit about this bloody thing is definitely the super big torch. That's, that's probably it. But a funny product without a doubt. One that you could probably, I don't know, buy with a, to a friend if he's into his N-Gage as a gag gift. But this is not something you generally pick up uh, wanting to use it as a phone and a game handheld system because it's pretty awful. Um, so there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're into your fake consoles, I do have a, another fake Xbox coming and I have a fake PlayStation 3 on the way as well. So definitely hit subscribe if you're into that and make sure to check out my new website retrododo.com if you're into retro gaming products. As per usual, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.